hope this video finds you well. Today I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag video. I feel like this is an evergreen form of content. I probably shot my first what's in my bag image back in probably like 2007, 2008, maybe even earlier than that. So it's a pretty long-standing tradition. So I thought I would film an updated what's in my bag video. We kind of have a lot to get into. I know this is a small purse. This is a Dior monogram bag in this pink color. There's like some appliques. It's a, it's a pretty small purse, but it packs a lot inside of it. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Maybe I'll start with some of these bigger ones first. So the first thing I have in my bag is my Kindle. I know it's a lot chicer to carry around a physical copy of a book and read that in public, but honestly, it just, I think the Kindle is more convenient. I like that I don't mess my books up. I also can get book ebooks from the library on this thing. And I just feel like I read more when I have a Kindle. So I've been carrying my Kindle around um, pretty much all the time. We have a water bottle. I always like to have water with me whenever I am just out in the world. I feel like I can't leave the house without water pair of scissors, my phone charger. I also can't really leave the house without a phone charger. This is a Canon PowerShot A610. I've really enjoyed carrying a digital camera around as opposed to taking photos on my cell phone. I feel like they're just more meaningful. I feel like they're more intentional. I like the process of uploading them to my computer. I also just like think they look better. I honestly don't like the way that pretty much any photos look on a cell phone. It's not even that I don't think the quality is good. It's that like I don't think the quality should be that good, if that makes sense. Like it's, I don't know. Maybe like I need to start carrying an iPhone 4 around and like see how that feels. Next, I have my gas wallet. It's just like a pink little wallet. Not, not much to say about that. Have a pile of rocks. Um, I've collected these rocks kind of over the years. Like I'll find a lucky rock here and there when I'm out and I just add them to the pile. This is my moleskin notebook. Kind of just always have a moleskin of some variety with me at all times for writing stuff down or scheduling purposes. I still am kind of a physical planner, physically writing notes. Um, I've never really transferred over to digital with that kind of stuff, so I always have a notebook with me. My sunglasses and their case so they don't get scratched up. Okay, now we're really digging in, so it's gonna be a real surprise. This is my steel wool. One, do you remember these hairbrushes? This is one of those um, mirror hairbrush, like foldable hairbrushes. I feel like all the girls had them in elementary school, but honestly, like super convenient for purse purposes. This is Inch, the Beanie Baby Worm. It's the mini version, the McDonald's toy version. Inch is my favorite Beanie Baby. I just like love, love him. My headphones, I still use wired headphones, believe it or not. I kind of just like them better. I feel like the AirPods are always just like falling out of my ears. These just fit better. I like them better. I like the wire. Red Sharpie, you never know when you're gonna need a Sharpie. A little hair tie. Probably have more of those in here. This is a perfume sample. I actually can't remember what this is a sample of. The marking has sort of come off, but it smells kind of like little floral, little jasmine, a little 
fruity. I probably have some other perfume samples in here. This is just like a little heart that was made out of gum, a gum wrapper. Just cute, just floating around in here. There's probably some trash in here as well. A bobby pin. This is a mini version of the Victoria's Secret Bear perfume. It's kind of like a vanilla-y, just like a sweet, pleasant smell. These are my little Tiffany silver heart earrings. I don't know if it's hard to see, they're pretty small. It's the classic Tiffany hearts with the little inscription on them that says to return to Tiffany if lost. I think they're really cute. Another bobby pin. Napkin. A loose tea bag. I think it's green tea. Been drinking a lot of that lately. This is the best gum in the world. I have not found a gum that compares. I just think the texture is good. I'm kind of addicted to it, honestly. I feel like I shouldn't chew as much of this as I do, but I always have this on hand. Tampon. This is a little USB stick that is shaped like a tomato. Isn't that cute? A little pink butterfly clip. Chase ATM receipt. Another bobby pin. Cocoa floss. Okay, this is the best floss I have ever used hands down incomparable to anything else and i didn't think that i would have this strong of an opinion on floss this floss is also so expensive it's like ten dollars for one of these you can get a closer look i have never had my teeth feel cleaner i swear by this floss you'll just have to try it for yourself and see what i mean i don't i don't know how else to explain it a lipstick case that is actually a knife, a little butterfly bracelet, my phone case, isn't this cute? It like looks like, wait, hold on, let me hold it up. It looks like my mouth, although my teeth are not this straight. Some Tylenol. Another receipt, this is a Sephora receipt from yesterday, actually. A rolled up tissue, my nose is always running. Little red lipstick with a little cherry case. I know this bag seems endless, but I think we're getting towards the bottom of it. This is the Super Goop Matte Sunscreen. Honestly, I don't know why everyone likes Super Goop so much. Maybe I should try a different one of their sunscreens, but this one is just like, it's like that silicone-y kind of like the benefit poor professional, like I can't, I don't wear that much makeup so I can't really compare it to that many things. Like, but it's that kind of silicone-y feeling. And I just like, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't know if it works. I don't like it. This is the Glossier Bomb.com. I feel like everyone probably has one of these kicking around in their purse. This is the mint flavor because it's kind of the only flavor that I like. A can of Frisky's turkey and cheese dinner wet food for my cats. This is the Touchland hand sanitizer. I feel like this is also a staple in most people's purses. This is, I believe, in the watermelon scent. Aquaphor, also just always need to have this in my bag. I feel like it's so multi-use, multi-purpose, skin, lips, hair, whatever. Just always need a tube of this. A claw clip, my keys, and some fun little keychains. A half-eaten protein bar. These are um, 
The Bear Bells protein bars, love them. I think they're the best ones. They really just taste like a souped up Snickers bar. So it tastes like candy. A wine key, you never know when you're gonna need a bottle opener slash wine key. Okay, this is the, this is like a long name, but this is the tart, like juicy Marajuca blush. It's like a cream blush in the color Big Ego. I bought it at Sephora and you know how the Sephora lighting is basically just ring lights everywhere and everything looks really attractive. Like everything looks really flattering for the most part in there. I would go into my Sephora constantly and try on this blush. And every time I put it on, I was like, this looks so good. I look so good with this shade of blush. It looks flawless on me. I'm obsessed with it. And I finally decided to buy it. It's expensive, it's $30. This will probably last me forever, but it is a $30 cream blush. And I ended up buying it. Every time I wear it at home, I hate how it looks. I do not know if I can figure out how to get it to look right. So now I'm just kind of stuck with it and I'm going to try and make it work. I don't know if it's just the wrong color for me or if it's the formula or the lighting tricked me in the Sephora, but I feel like there is a reason that they have that lighting in there and it's to get you to buy more makeup, obviously. I feel like there's just a few things left in here. Another tampon. This is a sample of Pulp by Byredo. I really wanted to try it because a lot of people said it smelled like rotting fruit but honestly to me it just it i don't get that decaying fruit smell that i was kind of hoping for i wish it was a little more nuanced to me it just smells like straight like super fruity in a fun trashy way but i wish there was a little bit more like dirt incorporated so if anyone has any suggestions for that kind of scent let me know this is the dior lip glow oil i'm sure you are familiar with it and last but not least, another hair tie. And that was everything that is in my bag. Comment down below and let me know what is in your bag, if there's anything special that you like to carry around with you. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.